Hey everyone, and welcome back to another massive eShop deals video. Now I'm saying massive because this week we have almost a thousand games that are currently on sale on the eShop, meaning that this week's video is going to be huge. And if you're used to my videos, normally I try to give shout outs to all the games that are still on sale from the previous week's video. However, this week, I'm just telling you ahead of time, it won't be possible. Because if I combined last week's video sales with this week's video, we would be at over 50 games. There would be no way to do that in an absorbable format for a video. So even more than usual, if you want to get a full lay of the land, it is very important to go see last week's video because there are still over 22 games from that video that are still on sale this week. So if we do the math, that means that even by cutting out the shoutouts, I still have about 30 games to look at for this week. And I'll be honest with you, I'll have to cut down a little bit on my usual descriptions because I want to get to all the games that are really great deals right now. So we'll just be doing a little bit shorter descriptions than usual. And the last thing, just before we get started, don't forget that the best way to help out the channel and show your support is to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. But now, let's not waste any more time, let's get started right away. Now the first game I want to take a look at on the eShop is Hades. Now there's only a day left on this deal, so if you're watching the video as it's coming out, you still have a whole day to pick it up. However, at 20% off, $19.99, Hades is still way worth it. And I'll be honest, this is the lowest price it's ever been, because this game was such a smash hit, they don't even need to do a sale and the game sells anyway. If you don't know, this was a candidate for Game of the Year last year, and in my opinion, should have won Game of the Year for the Game Awards. Some other sites like IGN actually placed it as the Game of the Year. It is a rogue light a dungeon crawler where you play the son of Hades and you're trying to escape from hell. Every time you die, you keep certain of your stats to go further and further on each run to eventually make your escape. It's a great game. Give it a try. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares is one of those games that at $30, I don't feel it's priced very competitively, just because the game is a bit short and the controls can be a little wonky at times. But when it's 75% off for $7.49, in my opinion, it becomes an incredible experience. It's a very creepy puzzle platformer. So if you like creepy survival type games thrown into a puzzle platformer genre, you're going to love this game. And at $7.49, it is way worth it. The second game just came out, which is pretty much what prompted this sale. So right now, the Overcooked series will be our third stop. And Overcooked 2 actually has a free trial of the full game. This is an amazing party game. This is actually currently my favorite party game on the Nintendo Switch. The second one is 50% off at $12.49. And if we'll see in a few seconds, the first one is even more on sale. So if you're unsure of the series, you can even pick the first one up for under $5. Try it out. But trust me, if you have people to play in couch co-op with, this is an amazing game. You basically have to deliver recipes as fast as possible in a restaurant to get, basically get a star score and progress on and on. By the way, I don't want to worry anyone. Yes, we are starting out with some AAA titles, but I have over 15 games on this list that are under $10 and that are really budget pickups. So stick around till the end. There's a little bit of everything for everyone this week again. And our next stop is going to be Overwatch. Now, Overwatch didn't have the best launch on the Nintendo Switch, but they did clean up a lot of things for it. Is it the best way to play this game on the Switch? Probably not. But nonetheless, it is one of the best FPS games we currently have on the Switch, especially if you want a competitive online FPS, which we really don't have many right now. And Overwatch is, in my opinion, nonetheless, a very fun game. It's also very easy to learn for an introductory player. It, the, the curve isn't too steep at the beginning, but to become an expert in the game, it is quite difficult. So it offers at both spectrums of the field, someone who wants to start out and someone who wants to get perfected, a great mix. So as I mentioned earlier, Overcooked 1 is also on sale and it's even more than the second one. It's 75% off at only $4.99. To me, this is a great pickup and one of the games that almost everyone should have for their Switch just to be ready for those party sessions. Now the next game on our list is going to be Dragon Ball Fighters. Now this is an amazing 2D fighter. And by the way, it's an amazing 2D fighter whether you're a fan of Dragon Ball or not. Of course, if you're a fan of the series, it'll be just all that much better for you. 
but currently at 84% off for $9.59 for the base game. This is an amazing time to pick it up and try it out. But by the way, if you already know you want to get into this game and you want to be a little bit on the competitive scene, you can get actually the ultimate edition that is normally $109 for only $17 approximately on sale. And that is an even better pickup than the base version because you're getting the 84% off not only on the base game, but on all the downloadable content. It comes with over eight downloadable characters right away in the ultimate pack. So honestly, right now is an amazing time to pick up Dragon Ball Z Fighters. And like I said, if you know you're going to get competitive in the game, don't buy the base version, buy the ultimate pack right away. It is way worth it for the downloadable content. So next on the list, we have a returning game, which is Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Now this is an amazing JRPG. If you like JRPGs, you have to try Nino Kuni. And don't be mistaken by the childlike graphics in the game. The storyline does start out easy and sort of, you know, childish, but by the end, the JRPG is very deep, very complete, and the storyline becomes very complex. And this becomes a fully fledged, really awesome JRPG from beginning to the end. And at only $12.49, because now it's 75% off, this is equal to the lowest price it's ever been, so it's a great time to pick it up. Now the next stop on our list is going to be the most expensive game on our list for this week, which is Jurassic World Evolution The Complete Edition. Now it is 40% off at $35.99, but this is a game, even at that price, that is way worth it. It's basically a park builder based in the Jurassic Park universe. So if you've ever wished that you could build Jurassic Park yourself and could do it better than they did, well, here's your chance to prove it. You get to clone the dinosaurs yourself. You get to build the pens. You get to build the visitor centers, all that. This is an amazing game and I, I played on a constant basis. I am always working on my parks. Now, the next stop on our list will be Bastion. And if you wondered what the developers of Hades were doing before Hades, well, Bastion would be one of your answers. And currently it is 80% off at $2.99. And it is an amazing JRPG. It's in the action style. And honestly, if, in my opinion, currently, if you wanted to spend less than $5, this is the best game available on the eShop right now to give a whirl. Bastion is an excellent game. Even if you're not a fan normally of action RPGs, I seriously think you should give this one a try because it honestly is an excellent, excellent game. And at under $5 currently, I don't think there's any better purchase. Now the next game on our list is going to be Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Every time this game is on sale, I put it on the list because this is one of the games that I actually dismissed at first, but when I tried it out, I actually found it pretty amazing. And right now it's at its lowest price ever, 60% off for only $19.99. Now this is a game that just came out this year, and if you don't know what the Digimon world is, we, I'll compare it loosely to Pokemon, but basically you train these characters called Digimon that can actually evolve during battle into stronger versions of themselves and you get to battle them against enemies basically. Now this is actually one of the best Digimon games in my opinion that we've ever got in North America. So if you're a fan of the series, definitely try it out. And if you're just a fan of Pokemon like games, this is a definite one that you're probably going to love. Now, next on our list, we have another great 2D fighter to suggest, and that is BlazBlue Cross Tag Battle. And if you want an uber budget, but amazing 2D fighter, for this week, BlazBlue is going to be your answer because it's 74% off at only $5. However, online play is less present on this game, so you really would need someone to play with in co-op or either just play against the computer AI itself. But basically, BlazBlue Cross Tag Battle is an anime style fighter if you've never tried the BlazBlue series before. And this one has a tag team format, combining it with characters from other universes. It's a great one to try and the combat system is amazing. So this is one I definitely suggest to fans of 2D fighters. Next on the list, we have Katamari Damacy Reroll that is also back on sale for only $9.89, which means it's 67% off. 
Now, I've talked about this game many, many times before, but it's a great puzzler game where basically you have to roll a ball around the stage, picking up objects through its gravity and basically roll it to a certain size to progress to the next stage. What's awesome right now as well is there's an actual downloadable demo for the game. So if that concept seemed odd to you and you weren't sure you were going to like it, download the demo, try it out. I'm pretty sure you're going to be convinced. Now, our next game on the list is going to be another amazing JRPG, and that is Tales of Vesperia. Now, this game at full price, I would say would have been a pass because there are better options on the Switch. But at 75% off for 1249, I don't think there are any better options. Maybe Nino Kuni could be a better, but that is a turn-based RPG. This one has the battle system as an action, a real-time format. So if you prefer that type of battle, Tales of Vesperia is a great game to try out and has an amazing storyline and the Tales series is one that is very well known to JRPG fans. So this is a definite great game to pick up. So the next game is actually a game pack and that is the Naruto Shupuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Trilogy. I love this pack because you get the first three Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storms for only $19.99 because the pack is currently 50% off. Now the fourth one is also on sale on its own, but it's going to cost you more than the whole pack. And personally, if I had to choose between playing through the first three games or just the fourth one, I would start with the first three games and wait later on. They'll probably come out with another pack eventually throwing the fourth one in there. However, right now my choice for this week if you're a fan of Naruto is this pack. If you have no idea who Naruto is, this is maybe a skip for you, but for any fans of anime or more specifically the Naruto series, this is an amazing pack for only $20. You get three full games and they are pretty fun to play. Now the next game is another game pack and that is the Namco Museum. I love suggesting this pack, especially to fans of retro gaming and or people that just want to show their kids the games they grew up with. I grew up with Pac-Man and every time and every console I own, I have a Namco Museum on it. And this one at 67% off for only $9.89 is a great way to experience the first games. And on top of it, my best inclusion in this one is that they actually included the first Splatterhouse, which was often absent from other Namco Museums. But this one has it, so honestly, I love suggesting this game, but you have to be a fan of ultra retro classics because these are very old classic games arcade style games if you're not into that skip this one but if you want to try it out this is a great one to purchase now the next game on the list is going to be another new entry and that is god eater 3. this is another game with a free demo so if you want to try it out download that demo but right now it is 75 percent off dropping the price to only 14 dollars and 99 cents and God Eater 3, very loosely, is a sort of Monster Hunter-like experience. And since I'm really into Monster Hunter and I'm really waiting for Rise, I tried this out to really give myself uh, sort of something to scratch the itch while we wait for Monster Hunter to drop. And God Eater, Eater 3 is a really solid game. Maybe not at its full price of $60, but at $15, Graphically, it is very, very nice on the Switch, and the gameplay is a ton of fun. So at $15, to me, it is one of the games that is really worth it. Now, the next suggestion is another game pack, and that is the Trine Ultimate Collection. Now, this is another game series that I was really waiting for it to be on sale. Because the Trine series on its own, I find that the fourth one was a really solid entry, and it really kept getting better and better from game to game. And now at 70% off, $14.99 for all four games is a really, really awesome time to pick up the whole series. If you have them previously, they're all on sale separately. But if you've never tried the Trine series, I would pick up the whole collection because that is the best way and the best deal right now. But basically, they are action puzzle platformers. And really, each game gets better and better, with the fourth one I find being a really solid entry, especially when it's on sale like this. Now, the next game is another returning game that every time it's on sale, I pretty much mention it, and that is Axiom Verge. It is currently 50% off at $9.99, and it is really one of the best Metroidvanias currently available on the Switch. And honestly, I will eventually make a list of the best Metroidvanias because I know all of you are asking for it. We are going to get there soon and Axum Verge will definitely be at the top of those lists. 
It is a little bit more on the difficult side, so if you've never played a Metroidvania or you are just starting out on retro gaming, be ready for a challenge, but the payoff is extremely satisfying, and in my opinion, it is way worth it. Now, the next entry on our list is going to be Daddish, which is an awesome action puzzle platformer. And at only $2.49, because it is 50% off, it is an amazing entry. It made my list of the top 10 platformers under $10 currently on the Switch. So, of course, I'm going to mention it this week since it's on sale at 50% off. And don't let the childlike graphics fool you. Once again, this is a very complete and pleasing game and actually has quite a bit of humor thrown in. So now the next entry on our list is going to be Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Honestly, of the whole Oddworld series, this is probably my favorite, where they take the Oddworld world and they shift it to an FPS game, and it becomes much more action-packed than puzzle platforming like the previous games. And at 66% off for only $9.99, this is an amazing game to try and one that I would definitely suggest to everyone who even likes FPS in the least. Now the next game is for someone who is really into 2D fighters. Basically, if you ever wanted to get into the BlazBlue series, but the core series, well, BlazBlue Central Fiction Special Edition would be your answer right now. At 60% off for $19.50, you're getting one of the best entries into the core BlazBlue series, but I just want to warn you, this is a game that takes quite a bit of dedication to get good at. So it is only for people that are generally already fans of 2D fighters and really want a new game to develop a new experience. With. Another great 2D fighter, but once again, more on the hardcore side, would be Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus, which is 34% off at $9.80. Personally, I'm more a fan of the Blast Blue series, but Guilty Gear is another excellent entry. And if you're really into 2D fighters, could be another one you want to put some time into. Because the Guilty Gear series is an amazing, amazing 2D fighter series. But once again, more on the hardcore dedicated. Now the next entry in our series is another one of my top choices for budget games this week. And that is the Government Clive HD Collection. So if you want a budget game and you're into retro gaming, the Gunman Clive series is a definite, definite pickup. At only $2.49, you get both Gunman Clive games, and these are not that long, but they are amazing, amazing experiences. The platforming resembles a lot Mega Man, but there are some beautiful hand-drawn graphics and some crazy scenarios like you see on screen right now, fighting dinosaurs, riding on the back of pterodactyls. This is an amazing 3DS indie port. Now the next game on our list is going to be Butcher, which is another one of the games that made my top 10 uh, 2D platformers under $10 list. And right now on top of it, it's 75% off at only $2.49. So if I recommended this game at $9.99, imagine how much I think it's an awesome purchase at $2.49. What's amazing about this game is it's the closest you'll ever come to the Doom experience if it was a 2D platformer. Over the top gun action, gore, and just killing everything that moves on the screen is what is awesome about this game. Now the next bundle I want to suggest is the Val Ferris and Slain Double Pack. Now these games were on last week's list, but they were on sale individually. Now the pack is back on sale, which is the best deal for these two games. It is 65% off, it is $13.99 for both games together, and these are two amazing 2D platformers one in the shooter genre, the other one in the melee fighter genre. But what draws them together is the awesome metal music that accompanies these games and really pumps you into pushing on and on. And on their own, they are two just amazing experiences. When you get them in the double pack like this, it is always one of my top recommendations. Next, we have a new entry, which is Tiny Barbarian DX. Now, this is a traditional 2D platformer, action platformer, and it is just amazing. It is a pixelated art, for, art style, and the graphics are generally not the main focus. This is really focused on the traditional gameplay. Fair warning though, it is 
fairly difficult towards the end of the game. So part, Tiny Barbarian is not a very forgiving 2D platformer. But if you like a challenge, and it's oddly enough, this is one of the first ever games I played on the Nintendo Switch. And I it, it's one of the games that helped me fall in love with the system. So I really find that Tiny Barbarian is an amazing game to try out. At 66% off for only $9.99, it is a definite experience for anyone who likes challenging 2D platformers. Now the next game is going to be Dog Uri, and this is yet another entry from my list of the top 10 platformers under $10. And right now it is 60% off for only $1.99. Now, obviously, from what you can see on the screen, this is styled after a Game Boy formatted game. However, it is brutally hard. So if you like, once again, challenging platformers, this is another excellent entry for you. Although it is hard, it is actually fair, however, because there is a mode with infinite lives, meaning you only have to start from the last checkpoint, making the progression in the game actually a fair bit easier and allowing you to eventually finish it as long as you give it enough tries. But Dog Uri is an amazing game. Don't be fooled by the Game Boy graphics. It is a fully fledged action uh, platformer that is awesome in its style. And now we have yet another bundle these games once again were on the previous lists but they were being sold individually but now the bundle is back making it an even more amazing deal and that is the Onikin and Odalis collection that is 75% off making it only five dollars for both games now these are two retro style platformers once again one in the Castlevania style one in a more generic action adventure style now honestly these are once again two amazing platformers on their own. I even suggest them when they're being sold separately every every time they're on sale. So when you get this double pack like this, this is really the best deal and the best way to pick them up both. Another amazing retro collection. Now we're getting pretty close to the end with only three entries left. And the first of those three is going to be Pumpkin Jack. Now this is a game that I can't praise enough. It is a 3D action platformer that was developed by only one person and ported by a second one and it is one of the main reasons why I love indie so much. Basically this is the closest experience you're ever going to get currently on the Switch to the medieval series from the PlayStation systems. And at 30% off for $20.99, even though it's one of the more expensive indies I'm suggesting, Pumpkin Jack is once again definitely worth it. I love playing through this game. I bought it at full price at $30 and I didn't feel bad about it in any way. And this is a great game that I hope continues on with sequels. So here we are at our before last entry and that will be another new game to the series, which is Scully. Now this is another one of those games that I was on, at full price, I was on the fence about. But now at 50% off for $14.99, I actually feel pretty good at suggesting. It's a action platformer but it has a really really original way of platforming because you play basically as a ball and you have to basically play with all the physics that come with the fact that you roll around the stages you have to hop and jump and basically roll around the different obstacles and every now and then you'll actually be able to take possession of a body and have a different type of gameplay but it is actually one of the games that i was I really enjoyed playing, I just didn't feel was quite worth the $30 price point. But at $14.99, definitely this becomes a very decent game. Now the final entry on our list for this week is another new entry, and that is Atomic Run Gun Jump Gun. That is 75% off at only $1.99. Now this is for hardcore 2D platforming fans. It's, it's a tough as nails, hardcore 2D platformer, sort of in the super Meat Boy type gameplay where it's, you know, pinpoint reactions and whatnot. But if you like that type of gameplay at only $1.99 being one of the cheapest entries on this week's list, Atomic Run Gun Jump Gun is an amazing, amazing game in that type. So I am crazy out of breath, but we made it. We managed to look at all the new games I wanted to look at for this week. But I just want to remind you all, check out last week's list because there are an amazing amount of games that are still on sale this week. I've linked it up above. It's been there since the beginning of the video. 
check it out. It is definitely worth it before making up your mind about what you're buying. So as usual, I thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.